This is my version of Ben Eater's CPU. Um, I really enjoy Ben's videos and I learned a lot from them. And But I found that after I watched the videos, I would forget the material or I would look at other people's CPUs and not understand what the chips were doing. So I wanted a version where there were different boards for different functions and the connection between the boards would explain the flow of computation. Also, I wanted to have some of the circuits and truth tables next to the boards so that you could tell what they remember what they were doing. My version is not done yet, but the, you can see the components that are done. And one of the main differences between my version and Ben's version is that I have um, all the transceivers together on the bus into a bus component. And so they're not just uh, wires, but they're actually um, uh, the transceivers. And so it's conceptually like um, one um, entity. And um, also what this does is that means that the other components can be uh, focusing on simple functions like memory or addition. And in addition, I have an input module that's used for sending input to all of the other modules. And so instead of having separate inputs for uh, RAM and um, memory, uh, it, I have one module that can input to all of them. Okay, so here's the clock module. And I have uh, separate circuit boards for the A-stable, Mumbai-stable, and mono-stable circuits. And also the circuit diagram is next to them, so you can compare the circuits with each other. Um, I'm also using only two chips for the um, uh, uh, clock logic, and also I'm using a seven-segment uh, LED display to show the clock. Here's the input module, and I'm using a uh, LED display to show binary. What is useful about this is you can tell the number from the shape sometimes. So a square is 15 or the middle bar is eight. And you can do this without having to count from the right. And um, also I'm using these rotary dials that output uh, four bits of binary when you turn them. Next, we're going to look at the registers and the ALU. And I'm using slightly different chips for the registers. And so occasionally you'll see little images showing you uh, the changes in the, in the chips that I'm using. First, I'm going to put a number four into register A. So I've, I've set up four on input, and now it's on the bus. And now I change this dial to cause register A to read it. And now it's saved in register A. And then I'm going to um, put one into register B. So I set one on the bus by using this input module. And then I change the dial so that uh, register B is reading that uh, information from the bus. And then I, um, uh, now I can use this other dial, which uh, allows the um, register A to be shown on the bus. And um, I can also set register B to be shown on the bus as well. And finally, I can um, have the ALU results shown on the bus. Um, and also, I can turn on um, uh, two's complement to get subtraction uh, and so see those results on the bus. Now we're going to look at the program counter. The program counter is activated to made to count by clicking the dial on the bus. And by turning on the clock, um, the counter will begin counting. And also it's possible to set the other dial so that it, the output of the program counter is sent to the bus. And that's what you're seeing now is that the, the bus is being updated by the um, program counter. So now we'll just turn off the uh, output from the program counter. And we also have to turn off the uh, clock. And then we need to activate the output register by changing the dial on the bus. If I turn the dial on the input module, we can um, change the values on the bus and that gets outputted to the output register. I initially had trouble getting EEPROM, so I got this flash memory instead, and I'm using that uh, instead of the EEPROMs in the output module. It has a very similar pinout to the EEPROMs, and programming is a little more difficult, but otherwise it's pretty similar. You'll notice that the output is not showing the correct sign, and that's because I used common 
uh, anode uh, LEDs for this uh, display, and I had to invert the signals in the flash, but I didn't do it for the sign. Next is the instruction register. Um, it's pretty similar to the other registers. When you set it to read, the green light turns on, and you can change values in the bus, and it will be sent to the instruction register. Um, also, you can change the dial on the bus so that it will um, uh, output its results to the bus, and you get the blue light then. Also, right now it's sending 8 bits, but in the future I plan to make it only send 4 bits. And now we turn off the instruction register. And next we're going to look at the uh, memory register. Uh, the memory register, when you change its value, it will automatically send that value over to the RAM. And you'll see that the RAM will change in sync with the, the memory register. Um, unlike Ben's uh, uh, CPU where the RAM, where the memory register was 4 bits, uh, my memory register is 8 bits. So it's really just a regular uh, uh, register and it can be just used as a regular register. Just like the other registers, we can use the dials on the bus to send the results out to the bus. So here I'm sending the RAM to the bus and also we can send the results of the memory register to the bus. One constraint on the bus is that you really don't want two transceivers outputting to the bus at the same time. So the way I deal with this is I have these decoder chips that control which of the uh, transceivers is outputting to the bus. So the, the decoder chip on the left um, will uh, select which of the transceivers is outputting to the bus and that controls the blue lights. And um, also, if you want to make sure all of the transceivers are isolated from the bus, you can just click this switch and it will send a high signal to all of the transceivers. The decoder on the right is for the uh, reading uh, and uh, it controls the green lights. And also you want to be able to turn it off using the switch because when you're switching between the different um, registers, you don't want to autom uh, automatically send uh, read results into those registers as you're moving around. The decoder on the left is active low, and the decoder on the right is active high. So this gives you both high and low values for controlling the different modules. This approach is really useful because you can program your computer without moving wires or remembering which ones are higher and low, just by changing these dials. I've done this um, version using cardboard for prototyping purposes, but I plan to make a, a nicer version, more prominent version later. I'll probably make another video later when I finish the control logic. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.